Prepare the necessary equipment required for the procedure. This may also involve preparation of an underwater sealed drain. Where possible, explain the procedure to the patient. If the patient lacks capacity, a decision must be made on best interest as per the Mental Capacity Act. Confirm the patient's identity via their wristband. Confirm the intended chest drain insertion site by reviewing the chest x-ray and clinical signs. You should also consider the use of ultrasound. Be sure to wash your hands before the procedure and apply the relevant PPE. Decontaminate your hands and apply sterile gloves and gown. Then empty the required equipment onto your sterile, draped trolley. Assess the patient's requirement for sedation via analgesia. Position the patient to display the safe triangle, lying at 45 degrees, rotated slightly away from the intended insertion site. Raise their arm behind their head to expose the auxiliary area. Decontaminate the patient's skin at the chest drain insertion site as per your local skin decontamination policy. Apply sterile drapes to the insertion area and reassure the patient. Infiltrate local anaesthetic around the intended chest drain site. First, infiltrate local anaesthetic to the dermal layer of the skin. Next, move on to infiltrating the deeper tissues, including intercostal muscles and pleura. Here we can see the guide wire Seldinger technique being demonstrated with a small bore drain, 10 to 14 French gauge. For medium bore drains, 16 to 25 French gauge, these should be inserted using blunt dissection or Seldinger technique. For large bore drains, 24 French gauge and over, 
Use blunt dissection, aided by a troker or clamp approach. A small bore inserted under Seldinger technique, as shown here, would require one suture to secure the drain in situ. Large bore drains often require two sutures, one intended to secure the drain, the other used to facilitate wound closure upon removal. Next, cover the insertion site in a transparent dressing, as per your local hospital policy. Attach the drain tubing to the pre-assembled drainage system. Be aware of the specific drainage systems used at your hospital. Next, apply a mesentery support dressing to help secure the tubing. Now that your insertion procedure is complete, dispose of all clinical waste as per your local hospital policy. Remove and dispose of gloves and PPE. Reassess your patient, noting vital signs, respiratory function, pain and sedation levels.
assess the chest drain bottle for swinging, bubbling and drainage. Finally, request an x-ray to be performed. You must then review and document the findings accordingly.